Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2020 video tutorial. Now the drawing of the ground plate in Inventor. We've got the same aligned section view. We've got uh, fits, a baseline dimension, hidden lines visible, and of course surface finishing symbols. So let's have fun with Inventor. First I want to insert a new sheet and let's take a look, edit sheet, that's A3, yes that's ok and it's landscape, I will confirm. Now I want to go for my base view and I want to go to the top view, yes scale 1 to 2, that's OK and confirm. Let's move it over here and I want to see only the ground plate so we'll open up here and hide those elements. So my ground plate is left, the only one left. Now for a projected view, quite easy to do, right click and create. I want the hidden lines visible in this one, so right click and where is it, edit view, and I want it to be with hidden lines and OK. Now this should not be with hidden lines, so go there, edit view, deactivate style from base and switch to hidden line removed and OK. Now I need a section, let's select the view and let's draw like this okay go over here go down go here right click continue and I want it to be over here Okay, let's move this up a little bit, nice, let's go to annotate and insert the center marks and center lines, center mark here, here, here. Now for let's zoom in a little bit to select the line. Okay, same here line, 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 and line. And I will need an isometric view as well, so I will go for another view, base view, let's see if we can have, yeah that's ok, 1 to 2, that's ok, hidden line removed, yes, ok, and just move it over, sorry, not this one, but move this one over here, and again, Open this and hide the components you want to be hidden. Great. Now let's add some dimensions. So go for dimension. Let's start here from this line to that line. Okay. 
precision should be zero. Okay. Then maybe this one. And I don't want to dimension the center marks, but the circles. Okay, 75. Again, precision is zero. Okay. And this one should be not to the point, but it will do. 15. From that center to this center, 150. Okay. Now I want to do a baseline dimension. So I could go for baseline. And it should start at the center of this circle to that circle, this one, that one, and this one. Right click, continue. Put it right there. Right click, create. And I want to delete this one. And I can move that one like this. Let's select them and change precision to zero. Okay. Now let's go to the section view. One more baseline dimension. Continue like this. Create. And then the normal dimension from this one to that one. Let's insert the diameter symbol. No, should be before. Okay, and of course, precision should be only zero. And that should be. With zero and again I need a diameter symbol before the value. Okay. Let's change this one. And I want to have a fit linear. H7 is okay, but this should be not applied. So go for not applied. Okay. Some more here is one and go to text, height, dimension, value, and call this one M10. Next one over here again, height, dimension, value, and this should be M12. There is another one. Again, zero. And that's again limit fits linear. And in this case, the first one should not be applied, but the second one should be H11. Okay. Escape that command and move this to this side, like that. Okay, let's add those surface finishing symbols. This should be on that line. Bring it up here. Right click continue. That's a curved symbol and the value should be 1.6, yes. Confirm. 
let's select it and I want to move it to this side so just drag it at that point go here and flip it to that side that's okay now I need two more here at the bottom left corner okay another surface symbol click right click continue this one should be 3.2 that simple yes that's okay and another one over here continue and this value should be 1.6 and I need parentheses so go to text maybe 10 first one one two three four five second one and okay now let's move this up but first you have to cancel out of the other command now move this maybe to that position and i'm done so enjoy this one oh sorry there's one missing here but you can't do it not horizontal or vertical at least if you want to use the tool like this okay now i'm done so hope you enjoyed this one if you did please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook fan page would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye